For the synchronous remote learning piece, uh, I've masked up like you will be. And one of the things that you'll notice is that there's no degradation in sound. Uh, that's one of the beautiful things about using the mic. The main thing about using Zoom or Schoology with the Juno is with the cabling. So the, the Juno is connected to your computer via USB and via the computer mic jack for the audio out and the headset jack for audio in. So when you, this enables you to walk around and still be on Zoom and have your students hear you perfectly, even though you've got your mask on and they're at home. So the one thing you'll need to do You'll need to check the various volume settings with the Juno and, of course, your computer and just practice, practice, practice until it sounds good to you. When you're using Zoom or Skype or Schoology, you'll need to use the same as system setting for the mic and the speaker settings. So this will cause your Juno mic to be used and not your laptop mic. And the sound, of course, will come through the Juno and not your computer speakers. So some things to watch out for uh, will be the different kinds of screen sharing, whether you're sharing only PowerPoint, which I'm doing now, which enables you to see the captions uh, versus sharing your whole screen. You can even share just your iPhone, like when you're playing music, that screen. So some things to watch out for are your own mic being muted, uh, your Juno mic, which obviously your kids at home will not hear you. Um, and then there's the mute all settings within Zoom that you can do, which is good for your students. They're probably being noisy until you want them to ask questions. And then the, when they ask questions at home, the kids in here hear it and you get the incidental learning. And then there's different kinds of screen sharing within Zoom. Again, this is not a Zoom training. It's pretty seamless once the Juno is connected connected to your computer properly, you just teach. And you can walk around and be heard by the kids at home. That's the advantage of having the Juno mic. So let's talk about uh, asynchronous remote learning. We just covered synchronous uh, live. So asynchronous would be when your students are uh, looking at this later. And you will likely use this via Zoom or Schoology or uh, whatever remote uh, record function. But you may be using our software. Um, it's called Teacher Edition. You can download it now if our software. We've made it free this year. And really, the training is so simple. It's in three basic, easy steps. Uh, we're going to basically go in and put uh, the location where your files will be saved once. Then we'll go in and put your schedule once. And then you push the big red button. OK, so let's look at the, uh, the Teacher Edition software live. As I mentioned, uh, tools, options, and then recording. This is the location of likely your Google Drive. Could also be your LMS, a Schoology perhaps. And this is where the finished video will go to as soon as you press the end button. Then you'll go to recording name, which is really your schedule. You'll add your different classes in, name them when they start and stop, days of the week, and then press OK. And that's it. So two basic pieces of information to add, and then we'll push the, the big red record button. You'll get a countdown on your screen, and then you'll see how my Juno screen has turned red, and it knows we're recording. So I am now doing a, an asynchronous session with my students to be listened to later. I've got my content, and if your students ask questions, they'll be heard. I'm going to go ahead and stop that now briefly. And you'll see up here in the corner of the activity window, it's compiling into an MP4 file. It's going to be titled English, because it thinks right now we're in English class. I have the video quality set um, as low, but you can certainly tweak that. That will help save bandwidth. By the way, if you want to uh, record multiple sections, feel free to just queue those up one chunk at a time. Smaller chunks may be better, and it will just compile them in order. And once you get a zero, you go into your recordings. So that's where you go find the recording. Some of the other uh, features here, you get a nice battery indicator. There's some, some mixer settings. You can just play around with those. But really, we designed uh, Teacher Edition to be just as simple as possible.